creation first podcast the first subject that we'll be talking about is horror photography shoots so as a haunted attraction you always want to have good like decent recent photos of the characters and your actors i highly suggest doing a photo shoot you know trying to do it every year or every time you change a theme you want to have new characters new faces You don't want to use old stuff all the time because sometimes people will literally come to the haunt to see that character and if that character is not there, that's in a way false advertising. So try to have recent photos when you're advertising. Now I know sometimes you're going to share old stuff and we do too. It's okay. It's not like a bad thing. But you always want to try to share recent photos. When you're doing uh, photography for your haunt, always think of your story, your characters, what's your background, uh, you know, lighting, all of that. All of that takes presence in what you're photographing. So you want to look, you know, at your character and the costume. You want to tell a story with each photo. What is that, what is that story that you're telling? What is that photo of? Is it a photo of a killer, you know, getting ready to attack? Is it a photo of a killer attacking? Is it a photo of a, you know, a victim asking or reaching for help? That's up to you. You tell what that photo is about. It's your storytelling, what you're wanting to say about your haunt. Now, one thing, like I said, lighting. Always make sure your lighting is good. Lighting's very, very important. If you want to play around with colored lighting, like theatrical lighting and stuff for haunts, it's really fun. If you are going to use the lighting in your haunt, that's technically theatrical lighting, you might have to add some extra lights or take some away depending on, you know, how bright is it? What do you want them to see? What do you want them not to see? What do you want to highlight? And that's probably where you want light. Now, the strongest colors in photography are red and white. Those are the strongest colors. Our eye always goes to what is the lightest or whitest. And red always just stands out because it's a strong color. So if you really want something to stand out, make sure that there's light on it. Or if it's red, like blood really stands out. And that's great for horror because blood is something we use a lot. So when you're taking these photos, you know, think of that. Your lighting. Do you have to add light? Is maybe the area you want to take pictures too dark? You know, get a flashlight and get a red gel. You know, if you want a red light or... There's all kinds of stuff on Amazon you can buy. You can buy theater lighting and all of that. But when you're taking a picture, especially if it is in location, in your haunt, make sure that it's light enough they can see what you're trying to take a photo of. Another thing is, if you're going to have blood or anything, you kind of have to over-exaggerate, especially if your lighting is darker. The same with makeup. You're going to want to over-exaggerate your makeup. And you want to make sure that your models are comfortable and that you're speaking correctly and clearly to them, telling them the directions and what you're wanting. Like, hey, I really want you to hunch down and hold your axe. Now I want you to hold your axe a little higher. I want you to hold your axe a little lower. I want you to look really angry. You know, you tell your subject what you want for your photography. And like I said, lighting's important. Having a pose and a stance is important. And of course, you know, your costume, make sure that there's nothing you don't want showing. Or if you need to hide something like zippers or skin, or if the face doesn't match the, you know, if your face is white and your hands are natural color, you might want to put some white on those hands so it looks like it's a full character and not just somebody with, you know, makeup on their face. Those are all things to be aware of. And also another thing is position. Where is your camera? Are you above them? Are you below them? Are you at light level? Are you very close? Are you very far? That's also very important. So all of these things you need to consider when you are doing a photo shoot. And you want to make sure that you don't waste your model's time as well as yours. So make sure you're ready. Have all your gear. Have everything set up, ready to go. Make sure that you're ready so as soon as your models come, you get them in makeup costume. 
and you get them shooting. You don't want them in it too long, so make sure you're giving your model breaks to get water to breathe. You don't want anyone collapsing on you or anything like that. So since, you know, we're this pandemic and we're all locked inside, it's going to be hard. But, you know, start thinking and planning for when, you know, hopefully this October, September, and the haunts are open again. Even if you're a small haunt, take some pictures. Take some good pictures. Make sure you have lighting. Make sure you have poses. Make sure you have good positioning, composition, texture, all of that stuff. You can take photos with the phone. It's not my favorite. I'm against phone photography, but... If you're starting out, that's a good way to start. And still use those tactics, whether you're using a phone, whether you're using a professional camera, whatever you're using, just make sure you use those points. And if you have any questions or further questions or anything you'd like to know, uh, make sure to visit S-Y-N-Y-S-T-E-R-S-Y-N.com. SinisterSyn.com. Please feel free to message them, ask them questions. Sinister Sin is uh, the company that we use for our video and photography. They're amazing. Um, I am founder and owner of it, so pretty much you'll be talking or asking me. I, do, I love questions. Uh, feel free to email us or contact us. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.